some things they funny me. Oh. Some things really funny me. You see, this this artist where they get one hit, two two hits, no respect. Don't they respect? You see, Kim Paluta, eh? why are you rich? What what? Why are you rich? What type of stupid disrespect is that? The matter chop hot. Assembly Diloto. Hey, aye. Hey. This particular weekend is going to be a very long one. It is going to be a very long one. So if you are ready, just or if you're not ready, just find some time and make sure you have enough data to be monitoring proceedings online because some of us are going to give you the most interesting conversation as far as the Valencia weekend is concerned. This particular weekend has been vetted and approved by the Angel of Violence. And I tell you, violence is coming from everywhere and every angle. Kim Paluta is in the news. And it is about Keche Joshua that is firing Kim Paluta over a, a collaboration that they've done. And Paluta is not pushing. Keche Joshua is not a happy person and he's come out to fire critically. This and many more is what we are going to discuss today on the podcast with me, Roland Amate, live on Roland Report. So if today is your first time, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share this content with others so they can equally enjoy the beautiful things you're enjoying. And also don't forget that this particular show is sponsored by Ghana's number one, right? Alien app, Shagzi. Go on your Google Play Store, your app store, download the app today. Wherever you, whatever you get, whatever you earn as a driver is for you. You pay no commission to anybody. Just sign up with just 20 Ghana CDs and enjoy commission free rides. And as a rider, just sign up for free. Order your ride from one place to the other. Wherever you would want to go, know that Shagzi has got you covered. So let's go straight into today's topic. Open and close as quickly as possible. So like I said, Kim Paluta. Is Kim Paluta, yeah? Is Kim Paluta, yeah? Yes. The hottest man in the, on the block, the hottest man in the system now is Kim Paluta. And he's in the news this time, not for the very good reason. But then... It is up to us for us to judge and decipher from Keche Joshua's plea or dissatisfaction or anger that whether he has a case or Kempaluta rather has a case. So the thing is that Kempa, uh, Keche Joshua is angry that they've made a collaboration or they've had a collaboration with um, Kempaluta. According to Keche Joshua, they've... they've um, a, reached out to Kempaluta and his team to help with promotion. But then, Kempaluta and his team are saying that they don't post things on Kempaluta. Now, there are some things that when it comes to promotion and all, they have another page called the Kempaluta Army, where that is where they post most of the things. But Keche Joshua is like, ah, but we've seen you do a collaboration with Sister Fia. You came to post it on your own page. We've seen you do a collaboration with Tulenke. You came to post it on your own page. We've seen you do collaboration with so many people. And Kimpaluta have come to post on their page. So why is it that when you go to Kachas 10 there, you are telling us that you post it on which which one 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 page? And to Kacha Joshua, he has come out to fire the man bombastically and fantastically. Well, let's go and listen to what Kacha Joshua said. And let's see if we can side with him or you think you have an explanation as to why Kempaluta may be reluctant now to post their song or to help them with promotion. They made reference to Amrado's way of promoting Shatawali's blessing of the Safa. But that is not my case or it is not in my place to speak for Keche Joshua. So I have a video here. Let's go listen to Keche Joshua when we come back. You can equally share your views. This is the podcast with me, Roland Amate, live on Roland Reports. Stay and stay. I'll be right back. Some things they funny me. Oh. Some things really funny me. You see, this this artist where they get one hit, two two hits. No respect. Don't they respect? You see, Kim Paluta, eh? why are you rich? What what? Why are you rich? What type of stupid disrespect is that? Kim Paluta, you do music with Sister, Sister Fia. You post her, they make videos. You do music with um, Enobari, they post her, they do videos. You do music with 
um, this guy, Tuleke, you didn't meet him, do video. With, with, when he said, do, do, do video, it's beautiful. We do music with you, Kim Paluta, my father. He never post them. He never, in hey, we, I speak to him, team, they tell we say, they don't they use him, page the post things, and then they use Kim Paluta army. Hey, see the way I'm rather they push Wale in some. No, no, no respect. Me, me, the funny me, where you rich? How many hits? Munya two, two hits, and I'm, you make your show like this. You can paluta, we call you, record a song with you. Would they, would they talk to you? Tell him, bro, you were happy. Tell him, bro, we go feel do video, want to do some lyrics video, some visualizer, do video. We, we worry you are, you know, do. We drop the song. We worry Kim Paluta. We call them back and forth. We need a video from you. Okay, now you now do video send us. You do video send us, we post. You never retweet. So I'm sure you'll be wondering where the song is. So for the song, it has already been released. And it is on Keche's page. And with the allegation that Keche Joshua is actually having, it is about Kim Paluta. Even though, so according to Keche Joshua, even when they needed man for a video shoot, he did not, or he said he wasn't ready. So he had to record his part of the song separately and send them the video. And according to them, even when they dropped the video, he did not retweet. Listen to Kim Palute's verse or Kim Palute's part, a snippet of it of Keche Joshua's My Father featuring him, himself. That is Kim Paluta. And you can also share your views on the test side. Well, I don't know what you think, but you can equally share your views in the comment section. Somebody would also argue that, yes, there are times and seasons, and I don't know why Keche Joshua is actually so much angry at Kim Paluta and calling him out in that manner. I mean, when it comes to some of these things, we all know that if you are the receiving end, it is very painful. If you are the receiving end, it is not a pleasant conversation at all. But then, somebody would also argue that there are certain people who have also had collaborations uh, or are in Keche's uh, DM that are not getting a, um, the major or the response, the necessary response that they wish to get. So Keche Joshua, as much as they may be OGs, they may have done it or seen it all in the industry, they should also know that the guy has also been very busy to the extent that perhaps he may not have had time to do it, but that doesn't mean that he wouldn't do it. But then, I don't know what you think, but you can equally share your views in the comment section. Let me hear from you. Let me know what you think. This is the podcast, Live on Roland Report. So, um, until then, who has the case? Is it Keshe Joshua or Kempaluta? How would you want to defend Kempaluta on this? Or if you have any advice, which advice are you going to give to Kempaluta? Or did Keshe Joshua also overreact? Share your views in the comment section. And on the heading, Japan. They matter chop hot. Assembly Diloto. Hey! Aye! Hey!